Robots are more than mere machines. They sense, decide, and act. From agile drones to self-operating robotic arms, every autonomous action requires control engineering. Hi, I am Dr. Chayan Bhawal from IIT Guwahati, and I welcome you all to this course on control engineering for robotics. Look around you. Control systems are everywhere, from the human body to the drone that just flew in for this shot. They quietly regulate how things behave and respond. But what exactly is control systems? Simply put, it's a collection of interacting systems working together towards a desired objective. For instance, the drone flying in isn't just a camera. It's a control system in action. Its sensors and controllers constantly adjust motor speeds to stay stable and reach to its target smoothly. Even I am a control system. My brain processes what I see and hear, sending signals to my muscles based on the feedback received and finally keeping me steady as the drone approaches. As control engineers, our job is to shape and manipulate these systems so that they behave precisely as we intend. Understanding control systems is essential in robotics. It allows us to design machines that move with precision, respond intelligently, and operate reliably. Whether it's keeping a robotic arm steady or ensuring a drone flies as intended. In this course, we'll explore both classical and modern perspectives. We'll go through topics like body plots and root locus. We'll also introduce modern frameworks like state space analysis, controllability, observability, and optimal control. You will learn about controllers such as PID controllers, state feedback controllers, and LQR controllers. Given the wide scope of subjects, we won't deeply dive into theoretical rigor. Instead, our focus will be on clearly understanding the core concepts, using tools to design controllers through simulation and some practical setups. Let's get going and dive right into this vast and fascinating ocean called control engineering.